the O in the middle was really good. <laughs> oh. 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 Hello. Um, this is I Have Notes. Okay. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, before we get really into it, just so you guys know, the stream is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Have you heard of them? Uh, go to expressvpn.com slash RTTV and protect your online privacy. I was like reading at the same time, so I can't read and think. <laughs> Okay. I can't read. I can't think and talk at the same time. I think that's the that's the key. Um, uh, BT Dubs, hello. It's Rooster Teeth. Uh, you want to join us in chat? Uh, we I have a chat box open right now. So do the rest of us sign up for a free uh, trial membership. Chat along with us right now because this show is live. Wink, wonk. Um, <laughs> and also, you guys should check out call out. For, um, I'm moving my chat box, if, as you can see. No, you can't. I'm just uh, stalling because I can't think and talk at the same time. Um, you guys should check out Wrestling with Leek uh, with uh, Scorpio Sky and Funhouse, uh, Funhouse's own James Willems. They get t together, break down the week of wrestling, pop culture, sports, music, everything in between. Um, they're streaming now on Rooster Teeth, YouTube, and all podcasting platforms. So go ahead and check them out um we i'll probably make you guys check out some other shows at the end of this too because wow that sounds threatening <laughs> go check it out knife 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 i'll make you do it <laughs> i'll make you do it and finally hello this is i have notes um a show where a bunch of people come together uh with an unusually large amount of imdb credits and we talk about anything creative animation also nerdy stuff uh, as we are wont to do and also um have very strong opinions about chips i am your host isa badiola my co-host today is here with me it's noelle wiggins it's me noelle wiggins <laughs> i never know what to say whenever this happens but isa do i do i introduce everyone else or do you yeah do, do it you do it. okay don't worry about me. I'm. Don't worry about me. We got some people in the house today. Let's go to our first guest. It is the best in the world, Aaron Wynn. There's something Ooh. on my arm. There's something hello, on my hello. Arm. I'm back, and I have a friend. Oh, oh yay, yay. There he is. Oh, oh. The star of the show has arrived, everybody. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all hear that, <laughs> but I'm very happy with my son. <laughs> And our very, very, very special guest with us today is the amazing Zoe's in the house. Very, Zoe. very, very special. Wow. I oh, also... another Pikachu. Look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Pikachu. Yeah. With, but, but with prescription Ew. glasses. He's with got that. Prescription. It's like a blue light filtering too. So his hair doesn't get a headache. Distinguished Pikachu. Just, he's been my friend since I was four years old. Oh, it's funny because the um the lighting makes it look like it has like a five o'clock shadow. So that seems like <laughs> a college no, the profess. Filth. Oh, the, the film. film. <laughs> that is the right. twenty years of grime built All up right. on this guy. It seems like college to... professor Pikachu with the glasses on. It is. I'm He's also trying smart. to put. Wine's battery pack back inside his body. No, <laughs> really... come on, stop. Aaron, Aaron, when you did the oh. when you put the shades over your Pikachu and then the cheeks lit up, it just looked like your Pikachu had eyes. demon eyes. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Gonna fucking vaporize y'all, <laughs> Cyclops. I was like, if we okay, don't see you just again, jeez, have... she's still suffering. Yeah, yeah, she's still uh, going. I don't know why I can't get it to fit in right now. Wait, there we go. Would you so say he's this? a double stuff? Sorry, oh. bring it back to oh. Oreos. We were Might talking about Oreos. <laughs> yeah, I got him from Just a nice lady stuff. in the UK. Oh. And when he arrived, he was a little dirty, so he got a nice sponge bath. Oh. Uh, so he smells like Mrs. Myers now. Was it, uh, was it never mine. removed from box, or it was works. it removed from box? It was out of box. Uh. I, I didn't care too much about the box, even though it was it did have like the glorious like 1999 Fat mm. Pikachu art on it. Fat <laughs> Pikachu, uh, yes. But the the lady left a note saying, "Oh, I'm glad he's going to a good home." I'm like, "That's so cute." I'm tempted to leave a a review on her eBay page and tell her that this is like a now world famous podcast. Pikachu. Is she on Twitter? <laughs> I'll send her the link I don't, I don't so know. that she can watch her Pikachu Look at your son. in a new home, but on uh, on the internet. He's he's grown up. Uh oh, with so with cool. the scary he's, cheeks. He's with, getting with some bad eyes. stuff. <laughs> oh, you you wouldn't want to hang around with that Pikachu. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine's Only a straight Aaron. cut, well straight educated, cut. <laughs> straight edge little Tenured. nerd. 
duality of man. The duality of Pikachu. He sits at home, he reads his books. What else do you do? Not much. He just reads. <laughs> he stays out of trouble. He stays out of trouble, except Moral his support. Uh, face. Since you were <laughs> four, how old were you again when you when you got that Pikachu? <sighs> I guess I guess I was four. I'm 24 now, so he's he's old. 20 oh, years. It's a 20 wow. year old little Pikachu. I think it's yeah. the oldest stuffed animal I have. Not that I have Ooh, many. That's awesome. I have a shuckle though that I got at RTX when it was still in person, and that's my pride <laughs> and joy. Oh, <laughs> shuckle the don't, mold Pokemon. Don't fuck the mold shuckle. Pokemon. Exactly. Yeah, he looks like a turtle, but he's just the mold Pokemon. <laughs> oh God, you're right. <laughs> it's so gross. There's some really random Pokemon, like the uh, what is it? Wobbuffet is the standing Pokemon. Is it? Is that what he's called? I'm pretty sure. I just remember distinctly the anime, like Wobbuffet, the standing Pokemon. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. That sounded, I don't believe that it. Was right? really, I believe it though. Yeah. That was a really good uh, Pokedex impression, by the way. I thought that was really good. Like that was. Thank on point. you. I've been working on my voices. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember other weird, weird Pokemon names. Those are the main two that I remember: the Mold and the Standing. And then there's like a whole slew of Pokemon I just don't know anymore, like yeah, Chandelier, like, um, a set of car keys. Or oh house yeah, keys. A set of car keys. Wait, there's house yeah. keys. There's yeah. a house yeah, key. There's a Pokemon that has a set of keys. Yeah. I don't know what it's called, but That's somebody in the chat, silly. If, you, if you're a uh, big brain, don't know. <laughs> Is there also like a wallet and keys? Because like that's always seemed to be like things that go together. The you lost gotta, Pokemon. Be, before, before you leave, exactly right. Yeah, before you leave the house, you gotta make sure you have your wallet Pokemon, your if, house keys Pokemon. If they, your if cell it phone wasn't Pokemon. for the fact, if it wasn't for the fact that they had the weird Pokemon at the end, I I feel like you'd be talking about like horror movies. <laughs> the standing, the, the standing. lost, I was saying, the mold, the mold, the, the wallet, the electric rat. <laughs> They do sound like horror movies. The Standing in particular. That yeah. really sounds like a good like Hitchcock <laughs> horror film. Say no more. We're going to pitch this. Quick. <laughs> TM, 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 quick. <laughs> Should Are we you... rehash the Oreo debate? I'm really, I'm fixated on this. Oh, okay. This, okay. So, Zoe, you are on a podcast. Um, I am on a podcast. It's called can I you... Notes. I'm on it right now. Oh, hey. <laughs> That it's is live. You're, you're true. You're not. You're not wrong. You are on another podcast yes. called No Dumb Answers, Answers with, with Mark, Mark and, and Brad. Brad. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert: There is no Mark and Brad. There's the lower <gasps> third. We got it. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's me and Kayla, who most people probably know at this point. Um, I think she was on the show a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. and Mariel, who everyone knows and loves. And we just kind of we shoot the shit. There's a there's a whole like overarching. I just bumped my microphone so loud. I hope it's okay. Um, there's a whole like overarching plot of Mark and Brad, who are the hosts of like 268 episodes of this show that got lost to the snowstorm of what last month or something. <laughs> and they they don't exist. They've never existed. There's no Mark. There's no Brad except for my uncle Brad. He's not involved though. Um, and basically, we just we are people who worked around this podcast's office. And uh, Kayla had to pull us in last minute because Mark and Brad never showed up. And they never show up, ever, for the rest of the show. (laughs) And we just hang out. That's kind of ingenious. Yeah, uh, it's a brainchild of Kayla because she's a genius. And um, yeah, I mean, we've had some pretty awesome guests. We had Lindsay in last week's episode. I think I'm allowed to say that we have Elise this coming episode. And it was so funny they had to cut our laughter. They had... (laughs) We had apparently just 10 seconds of us just snickering and giggling and losing our fucking minds. And they had to edit it out because she was just so funny. And at one point, like halfway through, she goes, guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I'm making you laugh too much. Can we, can we just like break character and we'll just go from there? And like, yes, please. God, I can't say anything. You're too funny. So uh, keep an eye out for that. It'll be good. That Ooh. I think um, Tyler mentioned it's coming out tomorrow, is it? Yes, it drops tomorrow, the third Ooh. episode, I think. So that's, that's very a, exciting. That's a, that's a good sell. I'm in. Yes. <laughs> got one listener. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> but it's a, it's a super fun show to do and hopefully listen to. And uh, I hope everyone checks it out. Where can they catch it? Like, like besides the website, can they catch it just on Spotify, anywhere you, you get your podcast yes. at? Yep, anywhere you get podcasts, the RT site. I actually totally recommend the RT site 
if you're down to just sit and vibe and listen to it because someone the guy who does the art for good morning from hell i think does the oh. same art for us oh. and it's so fucking it awesome really it's phenomenal so just to oh. check that out oh, uh, go yay. to the site yeah um, I bring it up because uh, you wanted to talk about the Oreo debate. And the fucking Oreos. <laughs> this, I apparently came up also in No Dumb Answers. It did. did apparently, it? I have a very contentious uh, stance on Oreos. My <laughs> my three, the three guests on No Dumb Answers last week, um, or this coming episode, uh, all believe that double stuff should be the standard Oreo, and that's dead mm. fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking for, and I already said this, if you're looking for excess, you're looking for gluttony, you want the mega stuff Oreo. You want to oh get God. mega stuffed. <laughs> uh, not in any filthy way whatsoever. <laughs> just mega stuffed Oreo. That's it. No cream involved. Um, and if you want... <laughs> and if the you just double want, predita- 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 Never mind. You should Double penetration is what I'm talking about. Oh, God. <laughs> The, oh, you the went good there. Old DP. <laughs> I went there. Sorry. So, so Zoe, are you saying that du- the irony is that double stuff is technically half-assing it? Like you just gotta go yes. big or go yes, home. Exactly. That's what you're saying. That's exactly. It. That's I think it. double stuff is not enough. Uh, which rhymes, which feels good. It feels like a good marketing slogan. <laughs> Mega stuff, as opposed to double penetration, Aaron. <laughs> Um, and if you want, you know, just like Cowards. a balanced, harmonious <laughs> Oreo, the regular Oreo is it's not. Bad. It's yep, perfect. It. Chef's kiss. Oh my god! It's been it's sure. been tested. It's been kid tested, mother approved. Even though that's a kicks thing, but it is what it is. <laughs> well, kicks it's are good. It applies here. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> um, uh, what is it? Noel and I also agreed on Zoe stance, from what I remember. Thank yes, you. absolutely. Yeah. Yes, like I'm 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 in the boat of the standard Oreo is where it's at but if you want to if you want to spice it up you want to kick it up a notch go for the oreo that is dipped in fudge that's where that's where you just kind of want to just lose yourself to the music maybe (laughs) throw on some uh i don't know what you listen to nowadays kids is skrillex still a thing i don't know (laughs) but listen to skrillex and then just eat the uh fudge dipped oreos that's the best right there you sound like Ben Shapiro talking about WAP right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's like, I don't understand. How is this? Is it? Is it? Is it a condition? Is that what it is? You're, oh my god! Your Ben Shapiro <laughs> voice is so good. The the best way to put I don't know it is up. my 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 uh, typical white guy voice is really my impression of Dave Chappelle doing his impression of Eddie oh Murphy's impression of the white <laughs> oh guy. Lord. And then so that's many layers. What, it's, there's, there's so many layers, but that's, then it just be, kind of becomes my, uh, my Ben Shapiro impression. And I'm just not happy with anything. That's, oh it, that's <laughs> Someone in chat just said there is a double mega stuffed Oreo apparently. <gasps> and now I'm feeling that's like just I have a sin. To oh, you have that. to Google it. Don't you? I need to have y'all seen that one image of, or I guess it's a meme of uh different oreo compositions where it's like uh an oreo with like two more pieces of cookie i guess and it's like oreo 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 it's like oh oh man <laughs> it's, oh, yes. there's O, oh, and it's just like a big stack of like cream or whatever Is yes like a i have jojo seen reference i've seen that i've seen that <laughs> jojo. I, I like that i'm not seeing double mega stuff i think oh wait <gasps> no it's no, I'm not seeing double mega stuff. I think I've been lied to. <gasps> oh, wait, I'm gonna... I, I feel like that shouldn't be, like, physically possible. I feel like if you were to try and attempt that, you know when you get magnets and you just try to, like, put the little, like, matching ends <laughs> and together just... and it just, and it just, yeah, it just, <laughs> the magnetism out. says no. The, the universe says no, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I That's feel like if you were to do that, that you, would, you would create a brand new atom if you were to actually achieve something like that. So it's very dangerous. Very uh, Large Hadron Collider dangerous. <laughs> so I hear. So, so, I, I, so, so the science says, you know, hey, I, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't make the rules. <laughs> this podcast is backed by science. <laughs> and Oreos. And Oreos. And Oreos. I just dropped the Oreo image into Discord. Oh, oh, I see it. Sorry, the cream oh, was not, so is uh, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Just two ooh. Oreo cookies is ooh and ooh. Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask all of you <laughs> wow. this. Do, 
has have any of you ever done the thing that they tried to like market in those old school like early 2000s maybe even 90s commercials where the oh, kids so would easy. actually open like you would actually open up the yeah. oreo lick the cream then put it back together then dunk it in milk too Ew. many steps way too, too many, many steps, steps. Way Can you take many. out the licking step? That seems kind of gross. I know it's like your own spit that you're it's eating. It's adhesive. But that's... Come on. You need I mean, it. in this day and age, it is Ugh. it is unbecoming. Um, yeah. Oh, the most the stuff. most stuff. The Are they most missing stuff. an F? They, that's their brand. They always miss the ah. F for some reason. <laughs> okay. But look, okay, so real talk. No offense, but look look at that. That is unkept. Like, look at look. It's just it's unkept. It's, oh, that's like unchained. I don't you know. Gotta, what you that gotta you gotta you gotta clean that up. Look at that. Like the cookie. It's like the double print. The actual cookies Oreo. off to the side. <laughs> this is the, the most sloppy seconds Oreo. And then like I can't tell if that's actual Oreo on the cream or if you just real talk dropped it on the floor and then you stuck to the five second <laughs> rule. Like I'm not eating that. That's a mess. I'm, I'm, I'm cultured. I'm That's I'm a really good point about the regular standard Oreo. Do you see how you have that layer, that, that little like lip Pristine. cookie that protects that. it? Yeah, <laughs> that is the ideal cookie anatomy right there. This is the seven deadly sin. Gluttony is, is, is the big one right there. Like, no, nah, I'm not about that. I'm not about that. I'm a grown up at this point. I'm an adult, <laughs> god damn it. I pay I like taxes, that. damn it. Or I try <laughs> oh. to. I don't know how taxes work. I'd rather not, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now we need to get every type of Oreo, because there's also thin Oreos, and just oh, do a taste test. Right. Not every wait, type. That wait, would be insane. Wait, what's a, what's a thin Oreo? Is that like a thin mix? Exactly what it I think like. it's a thin layer of cream. I, I think there's still cookie. cream. It's not even oh, cream. Oh, is it a thin it's, cookie? It's, it's, it's creme. So. creme. Oh, creme my that God. Way. I don't know. I have to look at it. She's like, yeah. I heard typing. They're just Oreo. they're just skinny little skinny legends, little skinny, skinny Oreos. Legends. Oh, everything's thin. Yeah. Oh, that looks wrong. Uh, that looks uh, like communion wafers. Yeah. <laughs> that I is, would go to church. That's bro. the best way to put it. Communion wafers. <laughs> I'm not giving my money. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'd go to church if this was the communion way. <laughs> that would get me into a church. <laughs> I want to know at... who asked for that. Like, who is the one that's like, this is too much. The standard, too much. I want, I want a thinner one. But then, looking how at many voices were loud Google, enough to bring this to fruition? There's just a regular Oreo with the word guilt in the middle oh. and <laughs> equals Oreo thin. So I guess if you feel guilty about eating your, your fat Oreos. That does feel like a campaign a church would come up with, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there they are. That just looks wrong. That looks sacrilegious. Skinny I don't like that. I wonder. If, I wonder if they just like flattened it and it was actually like surface level, like just even bigger, <gasps> rather than keeping it tiny, like the ruffles. As a normal Noel. See, yeah. See, okay. But the thing is, looking. So the ruffles back. Okay. See, now we're getting off topic a little bit. <laughs> so, no so go, going back to, this, <laughs> I'm I'm wondering about these cookies. If this was created by like. Ha- were you ever like me where as a kid, sometimes I put cookies in my pocket and sometimes they're in the back pocket, you know? And then like, I'll just like, you know, you do the thing where you're like, oh, oh, I had cookies in there. I had cookies in there. And then now you have a little slightly thinner, slightly wider cookie. Maybe that's how it happened. Okay, this picture here just threw me off because my, my brain snapped right to it. I saw the shapes and I snapped to it, which is the uh, dumb thick oh stuff God. Oreo. Oh my God. Thick dumb with two thick. C's. <laughs> oh, is that in um, Discord? Oh, oh. Oh, is that? oh hello. hello. <laughs> I'm going to gonna blame Sam, our producer, for this that's, one. That's the, that's the hey, shout Hey, 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 shout Let me holla at you, shout <laughs> Noel immediately stops talking about cookies when he sees me. Yeah, because I got distracted. I got very my 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 reptilian brain got distracted by the dumb the dumb thick stuff. So before cookies. before you oh. even continue on your line your previous line of thought, Noel, um, Aaron was shaking her head during your show, which I am. It's safe to assume, Aaron, that you did not put cookies or anything. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want eat some in your nasty pocket. ass cookies. Gross. Okay, Zoe. And then it's like yes. pocket lint and whatever else has been in your pocket. I Disgusting. mean, it's in a bag. Zoe, did you put cookies in your pocket? No, but I did. I would eat candy and then because I didn't want anyone to know, I would hide the wrappers in like couch cushions and stuff. <laughs> oh, so I, I feel like that's, that's the that's same acceptable. energy. Oh I think that's a more acceptable, honestly. More acceptable, maybe a little less chaotic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, like, okay, so so real talk, just to, just to, okay, just to clear up the air, they're not like loose leaf cookies. They're not just kind of loose in. Leaf. They're not just in the in the pocket. No, they're kind of like my mom would put the cookies in a bag, and sometimes you know. Oh. Okay. Again, okay. That's, okay. Okay. That's okay. more this acceptable. Was, this yeah. was like back you're putting, in the like a naked cookie into your this pocket. Was, yeah, like this was back in the early aughts. So I don't know about any of you, but back in that day, your boy used to wear Jinko jeans. So I had pockets <laughs> with hard. with volume there's there's space in there. <laughs> not only could the could the bag of cookies can go in there but sometimes maybe a trapper keeper i don't you know who knows <laughs> maybe maybe one i don't know social studies book could fit in one of those pockets i don't know so it's it's possible and again you put it in your back pocket you just you squish it. it's kind of like when you have a, a candy bar in your pocket you had to have at least done that where you had a candy bar in the pocket and then smushed it on accident or is that just still me Maybe it's me. I quiet. Don't think I ever very did quiet. That. This room got the very silence. quiet. We have the unfortunate experience of having uh, girl jeans with our, with our infamous. <laughs> no pockets. No That's pocket fair. Pocket. That's so. fair. Or deceptive fair. fake pockets, which exactly. of course yeah. look yeah. like pockets and then are sewn shut because that's fun and helpful. Which that <laughs> sounds like torture. Like who would do that? Who would create fake pockets? Uh, yeah. Men. <laughs> Men. 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 I'm sorry. I'm. I, I apologize. <laughs> I, I apologize on the behalf of all oh, of yes, the men with, with the chromosomes that I have. <laughs> and I don't know, like, a single girl who doesn't walk around needing, like, a chapstick or something. So why yeah. don't we at least have chapstick-sized pockets? That's fair. That's We still have much. the fucking pocket for... You guys know what the tiny little pocket on your jeans are for? It's for no. a fucking pocket watch. A oh, what? Who, who has a pocket who watch? Hello? watch? What is a pocket <laughs> so watch? <laughs> Chapstick, <laughs> unbelievable. I, I mean, can't you fit pocket can't you watch fit a po- pockets? Can't you fit a chapstick in that pocket watch pocket? Do you see this <laughs> fucking massive? <laughs> no, I feel like what it's is that? Too. This is a big boy. <laughs> not fit that's, in the pocket watch pocket. That's, that's a double that's, stuff. That's not chapstick. chapstick. That looks like a, one double of those like stuff. push pops. That's what it looks like. Does anyone What'd remember push pops? Oh, this, push pop. Oh, push push pop. That's what it looked like to me. Like the, it was, it was that beefy. I was like, either that's a push pop. That, yeah. that, that cannot be chapstick. See, Unfortunately, with, I can't like, make a shank out of this. With push pops, though, they had, if I'm remembering correctly, they had like you know on like pins. They have the little, the little arm to like yep, hook yes. on yes. to your pants. Oh yeah. So Click, you can yeah. wear that on the outside of your pocket. <laughs> so maybe they need to do that with chapstick. Economical. Which saves room for your it. pocket watch. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not for the chapstick, just this for the pocket real watch. Estate. I don't even know anyone who owns a pocket watch. Like, I feel oh, like the only people who own a pocket watch chat. have to... Wait, who does? Someone who in chat it? just says that there's, they have a pocket watch. Yeah, there's and two people. that someone's dad has a pocket watch. See, that's what I figured. Pocket watches pocket have to be watch. heirlooms. They have to be handed down. I don't think any, any <laughs> yeah. normal person nowadays goes to the mall. Like, where does one go to acquire a pocket watch if oh, not handed oh, down? I have an answer. I, yeah. Uh, um, you have to be an anime nerd and you buy the Full Metal <laughs> Alchemist one from F- yeah. uh, from FYE and then um, FYE. <laughs> yeah. Um I <laughs> somewhat think, shout think, out to Carrie because he has one. I think you might have to just be a nerd because I went to a horror convention and there was like a steampunk vendor there oh. and he also had pocket watches. And I did actually buy one, but I no longer have it, so I'm excluding myself from the people who have pocket watches. <laughs> so you so you say so you say steampunk. I feel like anyone who 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 like enjoy steampunk d- they are obligated to have at least 500 gears moving gears yes. on them at oh, one yeah. time yeah it if you like steampunk you gotta where. commit like the mega stuff oreo man you exactly. gotta go balls <laughs> deep into steampunk <laughs> um shout out K- kayla goes i have two <laughs> whoa Kayla, okay, you got what? Two chapstick or or what? Two, two, <laughs> two pocket or two pocket watches? Watches? <laughs> two pocket <laughs> two pocket washes. Yeah, she has the Full Metal Alchemist one too, <laughs> and one that runs backwards. Oh, Kayla, fucking loser! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kayla. I love you with my entire heart. <laughs> Except for the uh, the double stuff situation. And yeah. <laughs> Except, Except for the for Oreo that. argument and pocket watches. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Tyler also just sh- showed us that uh, for nine dollars, yeah. Noel, you could be a cool dude, and nine dollars on Amazon. Is that is that real gold? Is that real gold though? Oh, no, like, it's colored. Nine dollars. What do you think? Is that gold plated? Okay. 
does it does it make a clicking sound like loud enough to be like perceivable by like can i annoy people with it when i when i pull it out can i can i just bother people can you hypnotize someone by swinging yeah yeah in by front swinging of them? <laughs> those are the hard-hitting questions <laughs> Oh, for man. me, I I wear watches, but I never actually use them for for time sake. Yeah, I wear them just as like a little, just accessory. as a little, a little accessory, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do they say? The the outfit makes the man, but the accessory makes the outfit. I believe how it goes. So I kind of like, I just wear watches just for that. Don't know how to set the watch correctly either. So it's just there for as a, <laughs> as just for accoutrements. I think is I the word think... I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't Coochie. think that I even know how to... Accoutre? Did you say accoutre? <laughs> <laughs> accoutrement. Accoutrement. Yeah, accoutrement. accoutrement. Um, I don't think I even know how to read an analog watch anymore. Oh, no. I so sh- <laughs> it takes me a quick second to snap to it. Especially when it gets close to the to the hour, you know, like when it gets to that other like half, I'm always just like, I really don't know. Is it 530 or is it 430? I'm yeah. not too sure. But, <laughs> oh, you know, God. yeah, like I just have a phone now. Like I have a cell phone. It tells me the time. Why do I need an analog watch anymore except to be steampunk? But it has to have 500 gears in the watch itself. That's yeah. pretty much my stance on it. There's I something. One... Oh, go ahead. Uh- Oh, thanks. <laughs> There's something that I realized, a slight tangent that I didn't, that I realized I wanted and needed actually more than something I didn't think I would. And it's basically a clock in the bedroom. And I think more so just like a digital clock because I mm. just hate waking up and not knowing what time it is. And I have to like reach over and get my phone to look at the time. And it's like first world shit like that. <laughs> Yeah, there's one that projects the time onto your ceiling. What? Which sounds fucking awesome because then all I have to do is open my eyes, see that it's 5.30 in the morning and I can fucking go back to sleep for (laughs) four hours. That's all I need. And then I've been having a lot of trouble getting out of bed lately. Like, really? Like, I'll get out of bed. We usually start work. I don't know about you guys in your departments, but my department usually starts work around 10 a.m. Um I roll out of bed at 10, 23 a.m. Oh, no, Zoe. <laughs> Every day. Um, so I definitely need one of those alarm clocks that's like a drone that rolls around and screams at you. Or a little <laughs> helicopter thing. Have you heard about these? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. I need like six of them. It just chases you? It chases huh. you and tells you the time? Like No, like, it hides from it, you. Yeah. It like rolls away. So you have to get up to turn it off. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that's terrifying. I do a similar <laughs> thing. I put my phone, I use my phone as my alarm. So I'll put it like on the other side of my bedroom. Yeah. So I like have to get up to turn it off. I did and, that uh, for about three days. And it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, it's so, so cute. cute too. <clears throat> it looks like a Wally robot. Face. Yeah, it looks like a little anime sidekick. Oh, yeah. Wally. Ooh, that's a good fucking movie. <laughs> The, let me ask you this, like, I, for for me in time, I'm terrible with math, but I realize I am a savant genius the moment I wake up and I just look at a clock and I can tell you exactly how many minutes and seconds I have to sleep before I really have to wake up. Like, again, I'm terrible with time, but if I look up, I'm just like, okay, I got about another 23 minutes and 47 seconds and I can sleep for that long. Oh and then if God. I take a shower, but then if I brush my teeth in the shower, that'll give me an additional five minutes and 14 seconds. Like, that's me whenever I'm just trying to sleep. I become a mathematician, almost like a uh, rain big man. Brain. If you... rain yeah, yeah man. I'm big brain. I'm big brain at that point. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's <a great laughs> Thank you, Issa. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, it, it is that time. I think it is time to do. Boop, 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 boop. A cursory ad read mid roll. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, I'm looking at my chart. Uh, create a free account. <laughs> just in case you guys didn't know, uh, or you just or you're just joining us right now, create a free account. Join us in chat. Um, we're having a lot of fun here in chat. Uh, called out Kayla. Uh, if you just missed it, called out Kayla for being a loser for owning two pocket watches. Um, uh, also, you can sign up to be first as well. Uh, sign up for first membership. Support us. Watch exclusive content. Um, we have a trial run for seven days and, uh, you can watch a lot of different extra stuff. I know Ruby has a campaign right now, Ruby Grimm campaign specifically. Ooh. Um, you can watch Dead Little Roosters. Um, that's the first only show as well. 
a lot of good stuff if you're a first member, a fert member, I should say. Fert. Fert. Um, a fert member. So you can, uh, what's the word? Consume. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. And support us. <laughs> support us. <laughs> but consume. Calling all crew members. The ship is preparing for takeoff. Keep an eye out for asteroids and black holes as Olin Rogers' animated space adventure returns. Final Space Season 3 is coming in for a smooth landing on Saturday, March 20th at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, only on Adult Swim. Season 3 picks up right where things left off, bringing unexpected twists and turns as Gary and the crew enter Final Space to rescue Quinn. After discovering that they are now trapped in Final Space, the stakes get even higher as the crew must do whatever it takes to survive and desperately find a way home. The fate of the galaxy hangs in the palace. With Invictus and the Lord Commander hell-bent on total annihilation and capturing Mooncake to harness his immense power, Gary and the crew's only hope is to team up with Earth's sole survivor. Will the crew be able to escape Final Space? Will Gary and Quinn pull off their daring rescue escape to save Avocado from the Lord Commander's clutches? Will the sudden appearance of a gigantic black hole be the end of the team squad? You can't miss Season 3 premiere of Final Space on Saturday, March 20th at 10.30pm on Adult Swim. Not caught up? Season 1 and 2 are available on HBO Max for streaming. Uh, or link in the description. Don't miss out. Final space! Um, so, hi guys. How was your weekend? <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. It was actually pretty good. Oh. What would you do? I, I got... Oh, I went to go see my mom. Cute. Uh, which is pretty, I mean, pretty uneventful. But then I got a new phone. <laughs> uh, hey, final! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know. I was hoping you were going to say pocket watch. <laughs> God, I wish. I spent my money on the wrong thing. Technically, it's, it's in her pocket. It's a watch. When, when is Apple going to make a smart pocket watch? <laughs> That'd be That'd cool. Be cool. Uh, I'd buy that. But yeah, like my old phone was starting to get the fat battery thing, which you can't really tell. Oh, no. But yeah. I was like, like it's oh. going to explode? I oh, hope yeah. not. I think this thing's gonna kill me, so I'm gonna go take it uh, and get it recycled soon, hopefully. Is that an iPhone thing? It, yeah. No, it's uh, any- Is it an every phone thing? Yeah, like if it yeah. has a lithium oh, shit. I ion battery. That. Yeah, as long as you don't it... overcharge it, like oh, you should uh -oh. be good. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, I, I left this on like my uh, charging pad just like overnight. Uh, and that can really fuck it up, apparently. I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah you, you might want to stop. If yeah, my phone's not at a, if my like, phone's not at a hundred percent, I don't want anything to do with it. It has to yeah. be at a hundred percent all the Agreed. time. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Cool. How about y'all? Well, How was y'all's weekend? I don't remember my week. Yeah, I, I was about to say <laughs> I have no recollection. Did we have the same week? Did we hang out? I, I don't know. <laughs> like I got drunk or something. I just don't remember it. <laughs> Um, I forget who said this once, but I, I might have been Elise or someone else, but I heard them say something like, if I, if you, oh, it was Barbara, I think. It's like, oh, if you don't have it in your Google calendar, what you did over the weekend, then you kind of just forget at this yeah. point. Yes, yes. So yeah, I, I can believe that. <laughs> if you guys what don't I, remember. What I tend to do over the weekend is I usually, is it really a weekend if I spend Sunday all Sunday, just dreading Monday. That's all I do yes. on a Sunday oh, yeah. is I think about, ah, oh, I wish it were Saturday. Like, that's all I do on Sunday. So yeah. I don't know. I think that's all I did on Sunday, but I don't know what I did on Saturday. I'm pretty sure it was probably saying, oh, tomorrow is Sunday. So I don't really remember. <laughs> oh, I baked bread. That's nice I did for the wow. first time. And I what only kind? did it out of necessity. It was just, I don't know, bread. I, Whoa. Wait, I necessity? Don't know. I mean, necessity, yeah. I um I just ran out of bread. I don't want to go grocery shopping. <laughs> so I, I just decided to make it. And it's fine. It's like fine bread. I've never made bread before. It's, <laughs> it's passable bread. It's edible. It's passable. It's, <laughs> it's edible. It tastes pretty good. It's a little dense, in case anyone was wondering about my bread. Thick Other bread. than that, Thick bread. it's fine. Nice. That's nice. My, that oh. was my whole weekend. <laughs> what what uh what would you do different? Use less flour? I don't really know shit about fuck. So um, <laughs> so I <laughs> am I allowed to say that? Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> you are. Um, You're asking after I said double penetration. Oh yeah, sure. and then mega <laughs> penetration. <laughs> Oh, God. Wait, Isa, you had, we we both watched a thing this weekend. To yes. Get back on topic. <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes into the show. Uh, we watched um, a Chinese animation movie called The Legend of Hay. 
Um, this one, it was uh, available primarily because of the, ooh, I forget what it stands for, but it was like the New York International Children's Film Festival. <laughs> that's, that's what it stands right. for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they had a virtual, uh, virtual premiere. premiere um, so you could buy a one view ticket, essentially, or a viewing ticket, and you'd have it for like the March 5th all the way to uh, the 15th. Actually today. Oh, Mine until today. The 16th. Yeah. Oh, so I might watch okay. it again if I have time tonight. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, they had available. It's English. It was the English cast dub. Um, which is all Asian, by the way. Which all is Asian cool. cast. Yeah. yeah. It's a really, oh. really cute anime um, based off of a ch- an existing Chinese web series um, mm-hmm. animated as well. Like, it basically looks like this one-to-one. Um, but it follows the uh, uh, story, or almost like an or- the origin story of Hei, which is the... Um, char- this black cat character, and he is a spirit living in the urban world. Um... And it follows him kind of just, how do I describe? Uh, his contentious contentious relationship between being a spirit and hating humans and how there's just this other world in human urban life. Uh, humans are the worst. Humans yeah. are the worst. Agreed. <laughs> it's um, very much akin to like um, Miyazaki and like um, kind of like a Princess oh, yeah. Mononoke type yeah, of film. yeah. Uh, and like Spirited Away and like <clears throat> urbanization and environmental mm-hmm. things I guess um, it's so cute looking it's real, it's, it's cute and like so well animated it's gorgeous yeah uh, this is one of the most highly anticipated like movies to mm. be um, localized from China um, yeah. or just from the east like because it came out in 2019 I think um, and it was only now that it's finally getting some airtime in the U.S. And so um, I, it's probably going to get some more releases down the line, oh, especially so. if it's as uh, if especially if it's as popular as it mm-hmm. is. Um, but it's really good. Highly recommend. Yeah. Oh, my I'm God. I try to get Carrie to watch it because it has like some I mean, I just think it's like right up his alley. Um, it reminds me a lot of um, crap. What's the not? It's a boy and the beast. It kind of reminds me of that as well. Yes, yeah. And it has like some sick fights, and uh, it's just, it's really good. Where do you watch it? Where, uh, where it was, can I watch it? It was the what, what was it? You said New York, the International New York Children's International Children's Film Festival website. Oh, I yeah, see, I see, I see. Um, you can pay for a ticket, which is just the virtual viewing um of it, and they actually have apps on Roku um and things like that so you can uh watch it through your smart tv um you can watch it on an internet browser just That's on your I phone did. yeah just stuff like that it's um they make it really easy um but yeah it was pretty dope i'm I excited it. for the for the spin-off sequel the legend of hey ya which is the story about andre three stacks <laughs> i hate oh. this <laughs> and, 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 his, and he's from Kick like em. He's from a different planet if you follow typical outcast lore. Mike, can you just like move Noel's window like off <laughs> can, can you spin Can you just spin him? <laughs> just make him upside down. Put him in timeout. Just timeout. <laughs> I was I was letting that that was cooking in the brain the whole time. Oh <laughs> the entire time you were talking, I was like, how do I work this into oh a, a an outcast? Oh, oh, thank you. What if I like Bell? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone in chat said, "Boy and the Beast, like, yeah, yeah. So there yes. you go, exactly. exactly, exactly. Very, very good. Loved it. So yeah, I was very, very excited for this film. So I'm glad it finally came out in the states. Yeah, Zinzies. Um, um, uh, my best friend actually, Loki, gave me like a a file for the film already, like uh, two years ago, and I never took advantage." Because I was so lazy, and now I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get to watch it until now. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> you've, uh, you've, um, uh, what's the word? You've made up for your sins <laughs> of pirating. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So, I let yeah. Kayla a book. Like, this is just a common thing with friends. Oh, I let yeah. Kayla a book, like, a year and a half ago, and I have yet to re- receive it. I. <laughs> she probably lost it. It's probably gone. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so upset. I feel like Kayla's in the chat somewhere. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I need my fucking book. It was um The Price of Salt. I don't know if anyone's seen Carol. That's more up my alley, I feel like. <laughs> Um, like artsy, sad lesbian films. That's my <laughs> whole thing. Um, 
But the, she, yeah, I gave that to her to read. I was like, this is even better than the movie. Please read it. And I don't think she did. And she doesn't know where it is, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I think the last time we uh, had Kayla on, it was either that or it was the last, the first last podcast, we started calling Kayla out on her like bookshelf. And she was like, oh yeah, like here's some stuff. And yeah. now I'm like, oh, maybe it's in there where she doesn't know. Maybe. <laughs> she does have that shelf organized by like gay comics and whatever the hell she's into. It's like itemized by genre. So it's probably made its way somewhere in there somewhere where in it belongs, there. right? Pocket watches. <laughs> Pocket that's, watch that's handbooks. <laughs> I don't know. I I commend anyone who who actively just reads. I have a terrible tendency no, yeah. of like I will probably read one book a year. Um and but but there's some people who can just kind of read and read and read and like I I applaud that and I'm always very jealous because usually for me the thing that slows me down is when I read my imagination yes. goes everywhere. Yeah. I will read an entire chapter and I made up the whole damn thing in my head and I wasn't paying a, a lick of attention to anything and I have to reread it. I was always really bad about my my sister who was like growing up she was the bookworm in our family. She would force me into like read like. She would read Babysitter's Club, and then mm -hmm. I would be reading, like, Goosebump books. But, cool. like, all that I would do is I would look at the cover, turn it around, read the back of it, and go, oh, I know where this is going. That's and I would just, God. I would sit there, I would literally sit there and just go, uh, I'm and then I'm now. in my own head the entire time. And she would just go, are you reading? And I'm like, nah, I'm already on chapter seven already. And I'm oh like, my God, I see where this is going. Don't go in the basement. There's monster blood down there. <laughs> Don't go there. Oh, I so relate to that. I was literally a literature major in college. I read books for my degree. Do the exact same thing. Can't focus. Have to reread every time if my mind so much as wanders. If there's like a drop of sound in the room with me, yep. I can't focus. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and like I, what am I reading now? I'm currently trying to read graphic novels. I have the Legend of Korra graphic novels. Ooh, oh, nice. Ooh, um, okay. Which are honestly not that great. Uh-oh. Um, oh. It's kind of disappointing. But like eight pages into the first one, Korra and Asami do finally kiss oh yeah that's I, right. that i got i that, i was into that <laughs> yes exactly but um I, i'm having trouble getting through that and graphic novels take so much less time to read mm -hmm. and i feel like i don't f lose my focus as much because i have pretty pictures to look at <laughs> um and i still like i still can't get through it i suck <laughs> that, i mean yeah that's fair. Which, which by the way since you said legend of korra yes. i do have to say i believe legend of korra has probably the greatest ending for for a show like who cares about mako no one likes mako <laughs> ever it's true everyone was thinking it the entire time everyone was just like you know man mako this dude's not good for anybody like he really kind of needs to go to the side so that ending which i won't spoil it for anyone who's who hasn't watched legend core but if you have not please do yourself a favor and watch legend core is a fantastic show oh, uh with so with very good. deep themes too like talking about like ptsd a lot of yeah. mental health issues oh unbelievable fantastic but yeah they the Legend ending is Korra fantastic. Is so good. They clearly made it for the same audience of Avatar, just now grown up, yeah. because that's yep. what we are. Um, yep. And I just, especially the first season, I thought was just so perfect, like perfect television. Next couple seasons, they were less good. I feel like they didn't. This is something very important to me. The himbo character, Avatar's <laughs> always got a himbo. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. You got the best, Sokka. Best boy. You got Sokka in the original Last Airbender series, and he's, yeah. like, my comfort character. Um, <laughs> and Bolin, he's adorable, and he's fun, and he's funny, and he's cute, whatever. I didn't get nearly as attached to him as I got to Sokka, and it's very upsetting. Well, yeah. I, I think for I, Sokka, they allowed him to really grow. Yeah. Like, like they yeah, allowed him sure. to really be a very, you know, dumb, chauvinistic, you know, character in the very beginning. And then he literally gets his ass handed to him by by the Kyoshi yeah. warriors, and you know, and then that's what, I think that's what you know guys need. They need to fall in love with with the person that ends up becoming the moon. They as soon as they become the moon, you <laughs> learn a, you learn a very valuable lesson about it's life true. and about loss. That's some and, trauma he went and, through. <laughs> and she's always watching over you all this time. Every night she's watching you. Sokka. Every, kiss. <laughs> Every kiss. Everything you do, suck. <laughs> And then he gets a space sword. Oh, so good. He does. He's like asteroid, asteroid sword or whatever the hell it is. Oh, it's so cool. 
God, and I love that. And then he loses fucking... it. So they give him a lot of room to grow. I know for Bolin, they they kind of give him some some very cool bending, uh, which again yes. I won't spoil it. But you know, but I do agree. I I also think that in in my opinion, I won't speak too much about the like production that happened between you know the last Airbender versus mm-hmm. Legend of Korra, but it certainly felt like the creators had a lot of. A lot of uh, a lot more control with the very first story with Aang, you know, like yeah. with the Legend of Korra. There were a lot of things behind the scenes that were mm-hmm. causing it to have that typical flow of each season had to be its own story versus the la- you know the last Airbender, where it took Aang three books just to get yeah. to the Fire Lord, you know, to the final boss. But for Legend of Korra, they kind of had to wrap each of them up. Because there probably wasn't going to be one after that, but it just kind of kept going. Yeah, exactly. Um, it felt very much like they had the first season written. They made it. Nickelodeon bought more seasons. Yes. And yeah. Then, oh, fuck. Okay. They're like, what we do we do? Make more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, and then they just kind of were like, oh, I hadn't totally planned this out. Here's a plot about, this is really a spoiler. Here's a huge, gigantic robot. Yeah, <laughs> which doesn't feel yeah. very Avatar, but was still kind of cool. So it was still kind of okay. cool. I let it. I slide. do here, here. Uh, call it, call out to her show title. I have notes. Um, I do have <laughs> notes. Um, because uh, I can tell you, I don't, say, I don't want to say for a fact, but I was a huge Avatar nerd. So any kind of um, news that was coming out in real time, especially in regards to like Legend, uh, Last mm. Airbender, and Legend of Korra, I was there um, on the internet uh, <laughs> every week legitimately i was like you were in the city i was i was in the tree um he's in the trenches <laughs> and you guys uh zoe you're 100 correct in that Fuck like yeah. um they i think they only bought one and then nickelodeon wanted to keep buying right or bought more and then by the time the fourth one came around i think there was kind of the murmurings of like this isn't exactly what we thought this show would be it's a little too mature and that's why they kind of kicked it to the curb at the last season and they went from showing the episodes on air live to throwing them on the website Uh, yeah Mm -hmm. oh Um, and that That was was a huge it was super rude it was like a huge thing in terms of the community because it was just like oh wow you're really just like letting the show die then the other thing was that um avatar the last airbender back in the day um seasons um, American television seasons were uh, normally 20 episodes uh, or yeah. 20, 21, 22. 22, um, I actually think. Yeah. And then so when Legend of Korra came around, they had to condense to what the international standard was, which is 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Um, so then they had to kind of change how they told the story, which is why it was like, I think it Avatar felt the super Last... super rushed, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Avatar The Last Airbender had all that room to breathe, and they did have a clear vision from the get-go. But Legend of Korra, they were like, well, this is like, if we had to do this, this is what they would, what we would do. And then the other books came around, and they were like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, so I can, I can at least say that. Yeah, Can, I'm, really, I, um, I'm really excited though that they are creating that studio. Go ahead, yes. Zoe. I cut you off. I cut oh you no, off. I was yes. just gonna say I completely inhaled both the last Airbender and Korra in the, the past like couple months, and ah. um, they felt like like you were saying, um, Legend of Korra felt very rushed and as though the quality slowly got a little bit. Uh, it got a little bit worse but avatar you notice a huge difference just even in animation quality i know nothing about animation i took one class in college nice. um <laughs> but like the first season is not nearly as pretty as the last season mm. and it's just interesting how different those shows are though also being the same yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i um I, oh go ahead, go ahead well Oh, I mean, me? I was going to say, I just hope with the new, like, with this new, like, dedicated studio, yeah. I just really want an entire show, seasons, uh, plural, dedicated to Avatar Kiyoshi. Like, I feel oh, like we all yeah. deserve that. Oh, yeah. And she's just, like, the most badass. Yeah. Like, I see those memes all the time where, like, Kiyoshi would just straight kill up, like, just kill people all the time. <laughs> so, like, you wouldn't even have to wait for the third season. She would just straight end you, and then, like, that would be it. So I would be really excited to see what type of direction they would go if they decided to to go with that particular avatar. Yeah. Or uh, I, I can... would love a whole... Mm-hmm. I can tell you that there's a. Unfortunately for you, Noel, there's a book series on Avatar. Yeah, Kiyoshi. but I wanted like they could, they could, they you could want stuff to you it. Want I need it animated. My brain, I, it's a book. I can't do it. Oh, I can also tell you, um, canonically, uh, Kyoshi is, is a lesbian. 
or by. I think they do allude Weird. to that in the graphic yes. novels. And also um, Kaya, I think, something. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Tenzin's sister is yeah, like she bisexual is, or something. She's, she's bi, got... yeah, she has a partner. Or a Hell yeah. Partner. <laughs> she Ooh. came out to her parents. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> We're gay all up in here. Which I was so happy about because she's a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> she's... She's stupid good, hot. I'm sorry. Good MILF representation. Wait, which one? Which one are we talking about? Which Kaya talking about? from Korra. Yeah. Ha- like, hold on. I'm going to look that up real quick. The one sister. Yeah. Tenzin's oh, older yeah. sister. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh. I agree. I agree. I agree. So hot. <laughs> I so um, Kiyoshi as well. My, my, my opinion of Avatar... The series in general, like I said, I was a fan at the time. Um, I will say that I think um, I wish they had the same, some of the same people that were there for oversight with Avatar: The Last Airbender for Legend of Korra, because I think like the the writing team and like the really solid team of people they had for The Last Airbender, like Aaron E has, who went mm. on to make uh, The Dragon Prince on Netflix. Mm. Um, Aaron E has John Carlo Volpe, like a good chunk of people yeah. that were not there in the beginning were or were not there in the second part. They were there in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I feel like they really helped amplify Avatar: The Last Airbender, which is like I think Legend of Korra is so much more of a stamp of like, to be fair, fresh blood, you know, or like people mm-hmm. who really were able to get their chance on an action show, and now you see their names everywhere, like uh, Voltron. Um, Voltron, any other like upcoming DreamWorks action show, like people probably worked on Legend of Korra and they're they're getting more jobs because of it. Um, but you really see more of the stamp of like Brian and Mike and um, New Blood and and I was like, well, you know, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and those are my notes. Thanks for listening. I I, I wrote a banger tweet that like no one liked, but it's fine. It's <laughs> it's fine. But what is it? I I'll go really... like it. wait wait say that again, Zoe. I'll go like it. I'll find it and retweet it. Like I really, really, really wish that they make a an entire show based on the cabbage merchant. Like I absolutely <gasps> love that character more than anything else. And, and and the tweet was, you know, it's the story, it's the rags to riches story, you know, like the rise and fall of the cabbage merchant, <laughs> and it's called a uh, slawless victory. Oh my that's god! A, that, that's that's exactly. turn it upside down. Turn it around. Turn, turn. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Turn it upside Back into upside down jail. Slawless victory. Yeah, I thought that. I was like, I cannot wait for this tweet to go <laughs> by. Oh, it goes. <laughs> to go by. <laughs> uh, <there you> <laughs> go. Uh, it's like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Go ahead, Mike. I'll let you do. Your thing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sighs> but that was my thing. I was waiting for that tweet to explode, and it got like maybe five likes, and probably like three of those accounts were my mom's. But it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Are, are you gonna go and find it and like it, Mazoe? I will. I hope That's so. I will go and tweet it. I hope so. Everyone in the chat, go ahead and find that tweet. Link me to that tweet. I need to see it. <laughs> she needs receipts. Not to jump topics, but I'm kind of curious. I didn't see it, but I wa- I'm curious what y'all thought about Raya the Last Dragon. Oh, oh I also haven't seen it. Yeah, Ooh. I know Issa and Noel. Y'all, y'all I... saw it. Well, here's the thing. Me and Issa, obligated. We have to <laughs> we have to watch it. We're both Filipino. We have to watch it. Like the moment it said thirty dollars, I was like, I got you, fam. Wow. I got you. I don't Dedication. even know where this is going. <laughs> that was that was a I too much. I did the same thing for Crazy Rich Asians. I'm not a Crazy Rich Asian, but I was like, you know what? I want to be. So I had to to help fund that. But Issa, I'll let you go first. I'll let you go first. Oh, really? Um, All right. Uh, First time for you to also see Zoe, I guess. Um, I have a very spicy hot take on Raya. Um, as a uh, as an Asian American that they're saying, oh, representation or whatever. Um, Uh... Ooh, how do I word this? Um, for representation, it was a step. Um, but I would rate Raya like six out of ten, and on a bad day, a five out of ten. <laughs> and that's my review. Um, that's my spicy hot take. I can I can explain it later. But Noel, I think I, I will, you actually I will liked s- it. I mean, I, I I enjoyed the movie, especially from like an animation standpoint. Mm. You know, like it's very um. It's just, it's just, 
it's a definitely like a step technologically. So like obviously movies just get better and, and, and better. And this is like like no exception that it just looks absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I think I know what Issa's saying. Like I'll say this. There's a there's a foil character to Raya. And in and in my opinion, uh fits better with with, with me personally. Yes. Like there's just a that character was a lot more complex. There was a lot more going on. And for the sake of, you know, it, it it's it's an animation and, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's for kids. So yeah. I feel like cohesiveness, sticking with Raya's story alone makes it much more digestible, especially for yeah. like younger audiences. So I was all about that. But they gave you these little hints of this other character. This Again, I, I, I don't want to ruin it or anything, but that character just had a really good conflicting story. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm depressed right now in my own personal <laughs> life. I need to know more about you right now because you're kind of connecting with me a little bit. Yeah. I'm a little conflicted in life. I don't know what's going on. So if they would have went in that direction, or hey, maybe there's a there's a part two. And if they go in yeah. with that person's story, which I don't think they will, but if they did... Oh man, that's good. I need at least a solid three hour movie. Like I'm, I'm, I'm watching that whole entire thing. Uh, so, I think Raya as a as a whole. I think I hope the film will be successful. You Ooh, know, just for the opportunity. For <laughs> oh no, okay, well, okay, but, okay, but but here's the thing. Like I I read those articles, but they never really talk about the the Disney Plus numbers because I think Disney doesn't show those numbers. I think like box office, yeah. I'm not going to no movie theater. I don't think very many people are. And according to my uh, my AMC stocks, not a lot of people are going <laughs> oh to the God. theater at I'm the moment. Because no I'm kidding. losing oh money God. right now. I'm losing money. Yeah, but, I haven't uh, heard great things. <laughs> Oh. But I, I think I think the film as a whole, I think again it's a it's a it's a well it's it's a good story, a lot of good fun characters. Um but yeah, you know. I think it is. Sorry, someone's calling me on Discord and it is throwing me off. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Disney. It's, up, it's Disney. Back. It's Disney. They want to hide Disney. The, the <laughs> They're like, they're like, Noel, what's your, what are your thoughts on pocket oh, watches? Oh, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Papa. They're saying, stop talking about Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's, like, Papa's like, hey, 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 we need you to make a movie about Oreos and pocket watches. <laughs> Ooh, we could do that. Yeah, I think, um, uh, I think the premiere week, um, like to Tom and Jerry did better than Raya's oh, like, premiere. Wow. Oh, Tom and Jerry's like, Ooh. was on its like second or third week when Raya aired and it still did better, so... Ooh, Yikes! Yeah, man. and I've heard terrible things about Tom and Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's. Oh a wait, hit. am I allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You you know, that. <laughs> I heard. I heard mixed things. I heard it was fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't know about Raya. I feel bad because like it is like Issa said, it is a good step. I'm afraid mm. that Disney's gonna see this and be like, see, people didn't want to buy this movie or watch it, so why should we continue to do yeah. that? It's That's just, it's just like Mulan, where there's just like, no one likes Asian stuff, and it's just Ugh. like, no, you guys <laughs> keep making bad Asian stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I, uh, it was, uh, Noelle, you, you hit it like right on the head where I think a majority of people, if you watch, have who, if you talk to them who have watched Raya, they would much prefer that the movie would have been about the other conflicting mm -hmm. character because that really was the in where the interest was. Um, but they, they are kind of like doing a lot of repeat stuff in regards to Raya and some of the themes. It's like, oh no, oh look at this, another like person who loves their dad and is fighting for not necessarily honor, but. She's fighting for her dad, and also it they was... have cute animal sidekicks. Cute is that animal a sidekick. I'm, yeah, I'm. I love cute animal sidekicks. Don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of over Disney's like formula at this point. It's always like a cute, cute girl, yep. cute animal. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of. One thing <laughs> I did appreciate: there was no music. And I and I actually oh. was like super cool with that. Like mm -hmm. I was like waiting for like uh, like a Mulan reflections to pop in somewhere because mm -hmm. I wanted to see if I could hit them Christina Aguilera high notes. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? It's not. It's there's no music, and I was like, I'm okay with this. I kind of <laughs> hope they keep they continue in in that direction. Interesting. So you mean you mean like no like um singles? That they can yeah, like play. Yeah, like like, like it's not no a musical at all. There's yeah, yeah gotcha, like there's gotcha. no there's no I thought you meant, like there's literally no, singles, no music. Yeah. I was like, wow, bold mm -hmm. silence. Bold. Yeah. <laughs> Bold, bold, bold choices. Um, yeah, I could definitely talk about Raya a lot more, but we are kind of 
up at no! the end. I was having so much fun. <laughs> um, before we go, I do want to call out that Torian and Christina are calling you very cute in chat. Noel, because you have glasses it's, on. Because they're making fun of my glasses. These are real glasses, all right? They're real glasses. <laughs> they, they say, I'm getting old. Cute. I'm getting old. That's I have right. More You've been avoiding this for so long. I have been. <laughs> so these are real. They're real. Oh, they're real. <laughs> thank Zoe, you. thank you for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Zoe. for having me. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. fun. Time. Yeah, loved. I'm glad we could talk about Oreos and and um, Pikachu's and, and Pikachu's and no dumb answers and no. Dumb yeah, can we work in another no dumb answers, answers plug? Can we can, can we get another plug, Zoe? Yeah, Look, yes. Was gonna... Can I do it? Am I do? It? Yeah, do it. There, do uh, no dumb answers. New episode drops tomorrow. Anywhere you get your podcasts or on the RT site, it's fun. We're, we're okay. At least it's the funniest <laughs> part of the episode that's dropping tomorrow. Uh, we're gay too, if you like that. If you vibe with that, let's go lesbians. Let's go lesbians. Let's, let's go, go lesbians. lesbians. Let's go lesbians. Uh, yeah, it's real good. It's real fun. I I love making it, and I hope that everyone likes listening to it. Oh yay! I'm sold. I'll I'm I'll listen. Sold. One, uh, one two, two viewers. Two, two guaranteed viewers. viewers. And I'll my watch. Mom. I'll watch. I'll listen. I'll listen. <laughs> <My mom. laughs> um, check out. There's more gameplay and live streams coming. Uh, next up, stay zen with Caden Jensen Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. CST. And catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.